Hey everybody, it's Jess and David here with Bless Jess. What's Thank up, you guys? so much for tuning in. We have a super fun video for you guys. This so, is a three part Three part. This series. is only the first part. So it all started today when I was walking down Kroger shopping, just doing my own little, you know, weekly grocery shopping thing. He's going to act it out. <laughs> and um, there was this huge display of M&M's. <laughs> And they said, new flavors, vote on your favorite. And all yep. that. And I thought, hmm, bing, idea mm -hmm. here. Hey, we could do a video of it's all the It's ruined shopping for us because now we're thinking we could do so a video I on him, that. Uh, I text him a little thing. I mean, it was only like five or six different new flavors or maybe four three. new flavors to try. Three. Oh, three? I went to the okay. website. There's three okay. brand new flavors that everybody... That okay, so I thought we could do a video on that. Well, then it grew to, hey, there's lots of M&M flavors. Let's do a video on all of them because that's what he does. <laughs> yeah. So, so then she, we have, so then she, te she texted me the idea and we were like, well, how are we going to, we got to pick which one we like best. We're going to try them all in one video. Cause we've done that kind of stuff. And then I thought if we can find 16 flavors, let's go March Madness style 16 team tournament. So we so found 16, 16 flavors, M &M flavors, you guys. So 16 flavors. Those of you that are sports fans, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're not, here's how you do it. Four teams, four teams, four teams, four teams. Narrow those down to one each. Narrow these down to one each. You got your final four. Oh, so we're going to do our, our, our final four or our final one. We're going to do eight teams tonight on this side and get down to our favorite two here. Then we're going to film a video and get these eight teams down to two. And then we'll do one more video to show our final four. So... And this hopefully out of the final four, we can opinion, pick one. Our opinion of yes. what our favorite M&Ms are. Here are the you rules. You guys let us know what your favorite yes. is. Um, and, and we encourage you to do this at home with your we families. We might do this with our youth group because we think it's yeah, fun. I think the youth are going to love this. Everybody told them we're going to do it. There's you only, have? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're excited. <laughs> okay. And we have to go buy more M&Ms. We'll do it. Here's Okay. Here are the three rules. Number one, no matter if you hate the flavor already, you have to try it. So we're going to do that. Well, there's some flavors we've never had. So this is a pre preconceived notion. If you don't think you'll like it, you still have to try it. Number two, you have to be honest. If you actually like the flavor, but you think you like the other one better, be honest on how much you like that flavor because we want to be as objective as we can. Rule number three, we are going to do our best to plead to the other person to come over to our side. If we if, disagree. If there is a disagreement. Now, if there is an absolute, we cannot agree we will resort to the classic tiebreaker, paper, rock, scissors, to break the tie. And that's the fairest way we know how to do it. If we were doing this live, we would have y'all vote on it. We even talked about maybe Lucy trying a flavor to help break the tie, but she's asleep. So we're not <laughs> okay. going to do that. So, so tonight. Let's get started. Our first one is it chocolate is category. Okay. So the first step, are we gonna do? We're gonna do regular classic, classic M M&M and M milk chocolate versus the M and some of these are bigger packages because this is all they can have. Versus the dark, dark chocolate. chocolate. So let's taste. Let's, let's start taste. with let's start with Old Faithful. Just, just a, give me one. Just a couple. Just give me one. Come on, here we go. Who got? Who got a bunch? Well, I got four. If you, so if you need a couple more, there you go. We all know what a regular M&M tastes like. Just a classic, classic. no chocolate M&M. I've actually never had a dark chocolate one. I Me normally neither. like milk chocolate things better. You mean you normally like dark chocolate better? Mm -mm. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Still good. There's not a whole lot of difference, honestly. It's a little stronger dark chocolate flavor for sure. It says it's made with only 50% um, cacao. Cacao and the dark chocolate to make it a little bit different tasting. Well, it's, that means it's a stronger yeah. chocolate flavor. Because you have milk chocolate, they add a bunch of milk and stuff to it. Okay. Do we have a disagreement? I still say you can't beat... The dark chocolate doesn't beat the milk chocolate for me. Can you taste the difference? Oh, yeah. Really? This is way stronger. Let's see... Are you really thinking about this? Not even close. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not shocked. again. So, that being said, milk chocolate advances to the next round. <laughs> okay. All right, which ones are we doing next? Next, we're doing a flavor I've never seen either, which is white chocolate. Versus? Double chocolate. 
double chocolate. Now, what is devil double chocolate? Double chocolate. Dark chocolate and mixed white with chocolate. white chocolate. So okay. let's start here with just the white chocolate I by itself. I think I've had these. I'm not a huge fan of milk of white chocolate. Why are they're bigger? They're big. Yeah, they're really big. If you can tell. They have a lot of white chocolate in there. And I'm sorry, people. Give it a different name. Because white chocolate does not taste like chocolate. It's good though. There is no cocoa in it, so it doesn't taste like chocolate. It's good. It's cocoa butter though, I think. Doesn't it? Yeah, it tastes like um it just tastes like a Hershey's cookies that's and cream. really good. It's good though. That's really I'm not a huge white chocolate fan, but that's good. Alright, here are double chocolate. It looks like it still has a white chocolate. Is white chocolate mixed center. Covered, covered in dark chocolate? Mmm. It's a nice blend of both worlds. Hmm. I don't know. It's really close. I go double. I like that a little bit better. Okay. Oh, I'll go with him because I don't taste that much of a difference. You don't taste. You don't taste more real chocolate with the white I chocolate. I do. That's why I like it. It's a it's a mixed flavor okay. instead of just the one note. That's why I like it. So now double chocolate advances to the next round. Okay. So now we go back to what we started with. Oh, I thought I think we should do these and then. No, go back. you can't do that. Why? You, you have to finish out this bracket. Oh. I'm, this is how it works, people. We have to get rid of this bracket, then we'll move on to the next one. So let's go back to original milk chocolate versus now the winner of the last round, the double chocolate. Okay. So re remind ourselves. Seriously, guys. You could put these in cookies, ice cream. Whole chocolate. They're just so classic. Just like but the candy coating does have a distinct and flavor. These, I'm gonna say are just not as pretty. They're like brown. I mean, I get that they're double chocolate. They're double. They're they're all just neutral. But they're not even shiny. They're neutral coated flavors. Yeah. And I'm just trying to decide: is the mixture flavor enough to beat out the original? How crazy about those. I think it's too much. I like the simplicity. I like shaking it up, but again, for nostalgia reasons alone, and I, I just love I milk like, chocolate. Like, I could not eat more than just like one of these. These I are could, just, I could eat a handful. they're kind of strong, and they're big. I don't like them. We agree. So in the chocolate round, da -da -da -da, milk chocolate advances to the next round. Milk chocolate is just a classic. Is the king the of the chocolates. You can't go wrong with that. So now we move on to the peanut round. Now I call it the peanut round because we do have actually one in here that has actually no nuts in it, but also another one that's not a peanut. But the majority of the flavors are peanut flavored. So peanut slash nut. The original peanut butter M and M, which are my brother's not jam. Peanut butter. Peanut. No, the original peanut M and M. My fault. These are my brother's favorite peanut M and M's. They're probably my favorite. They're well, probably they're in my top three or four. Yeah. Then again, we don't know yet. We're not done with this, so let's find out. Versus dark chocolate peanut M and M's. So let's hey. get a taste this first. Mm -hmm. I like to, when I'm not doing a video, I like to like let these melt in my mouth and mm -hmm. then just... Come on guys. I'm Milk sure chocolate I'm. with a peanut in it. Just... are so good. Mm. So delicious. It's like sweet and salty. It's the best of everything. It's so delicious. So now we have dark chocolate peanut. I want to see how much difference there is. This only has 49% cacao in it. The other had 50 something. Yeah, but I wonder how much cacao this has in it. 50%. No, not the, on this one. Hmm. This one has even less than 49. Honestly, I don't tell that much difference. I don't tell much. I do think- This one's a little sweeter. Yeah, the, the one with the original peanut is a little bit sweeter. And this one has a little of that dark chocolate strongness. Just a slight edge. But again, guys, I think honestly, you could put these in that bag and, and just from looking at it. I would know it. it. But I would barely know it. I still. These are my jam. Is, and, and guys, again, it is so slight. It is so this slight. This edges it out a little bit more. But the, e the edge is in the sweetness of the milk chocolate. It just gives that, it the way the peanut and the milk 
chocolate intersect each other, it just helps cut that balance. This, and it's like, so I'm good. still tasting dark chocolate. That Me too. little bitter taste. Me too. It's not a smooth tasting. Yeah. So I'm not a huge fan of dark chocolate. So shocker. Da, 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 da. Peanut M and M's original not, move forward. I will say the next video or those are the weird flavors. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. The next video are they are the flavors that you don't always know about okay. in your this I'm actually interested in to see what these taste like because I've never had them. And that is, sorry guys, <laughs> that is the almond M&M's. just throwing Well, one. she opened the hole on the side, so it's well, hard to... Well, how else are you going <laughs> to open it? Like that up top. I tried it with All never right, but that. anyway, so almond M&M's versus... Honey. Got... Oh my God. <laughs> I, can't I don't open. even know which ones are which now. We're no, no, no. They're, they're, you can tell. Trust me, they look very different. And then these are probably really, really close, if not my favorite that I've ever had: peanut butter M and M's. Okay, so, so which ones are we trying? To we're, so we're gonna try the almond first. I hope these are almond. They now are again, there's no nut in the peanut butter, but it's peanut mainly oh, flavor. There is peanuts in there, but there's no peanut in there. Yeah, so. there is. And there's butter. not a, there's not a whole nut, whereas the almonds have a nut in yeah, them. Yeah, there's an still almond. peanuts in there. So just grind up. Mm. That's good. Tastes like a Hershey chocolate with almond. Layla's underneath us. She probably heard all the M and M's falling. Mm hmm. That's really good, guys. It's if you love almonds, if you like almonds over peanut butter over peanuts. Kind of reminds me like of a Jordan almond. It's good. Very good. Yep. Old faithful to me. I've eaten, I've loved these since I was a kid. It's chocolate peanut butter, guys. It's delicious. I mean. Yeah. It's good. But is it strong enough of a peanut butter flavor to edge out that nut flavor of the almond? Yep. I just love peanut butter. I love peanut butter too. I love peanut butter. It's like a Reese's. So no it. surprise, the Hollies love peanut butter. So <laughs> peanut butter moves <laughs> to the next round. The almonds are really good though. I could totally eat those. So here's where we are gonna have a little trouble. Uh oh. Peanut. Peanut butter. So do you want the real deal or do you want the made from? This okay. is going to be interesting. I'm I here. have a feeling. I, I knew on. this was going to happen because I just know her so well and I know myself so well. So do we love the original peanut salt cut through from the chocolate? I'm sorry. That was so good. They're so good. Or the creamy, soft, melts in your mouth immediately peanut butter. My favorite. So this one. I love the crunchiness of the peanut. I like the peanut butter too, but I'm sorry, the peanut M&Ms are just, they're so good. So peanut's your favorite? Peanut's my favorite. I'm here. No, yes. you can't be. Yes, I knew I would be. I love- If he doesn't stop slinging M&Ms everywhere, I'm gonna- I, I love the creamy feel. I love yeah, the softness of you, it. To me, if I went creamy, I want a Reese cup. But I again, want... guys, it is so close. It is so close. And I love chocolate covered peanuts. I, it is not that. It is I love peanut butter more than peanuts. This isn't slight for me. I like this way more. I can't. I can't. I love peanut butter more. Who is with me? Team M&M peanut. Who's peanut butter? Come on, guys. I like peanut butter too, but I can have peanut butter in lots of different things. I can. You can put peanuts in lots of different things. Not in candy, not not like like a okay. You can have Reese's pieces, you can have Reese cups. All of that has the same flavor. You can't have the same. Flavor. I'm just saying, if if we're battling right now, putting one of those in my mouth, putting one of these in my mouth, I want I want this one again over that. Not me. All right, here we go. Okay, fine. <laughs> And now, I'm gonna, and now I'm gonna bow. I don't agree. <laughs> I don't agree. I'm gonna bow and let you no, have it. No, it's okay. You won fair and square. You won fair and square. <sighs> Can we call it a tie? We can't have a tie. Ah. That's two out of three. All right. All right, here we go. He won. <laughs> okay. So peanut butter advances. And I know y'all are screaming at the camera right now. And again, guys, it is 
it's so slight for me. The crunch alone, the I texture, know. the texture. This melts. Mm. This doesn't. It's crunchy. It's delicious. I, I'm going off of every single one of these. Which bag do I want to reach back in and get another one? And the peanut butter was it for me. I wanted another one right then over the peanut. So, <laughs> so that's where we stand we with that. We are down to peanut butter ver versus milk, milk chocolate. chocolate. So all of these are going to go against the winners for our next video. Yes, mm -hmm. we realize we are two huge nerds here. <laughs> but we have fun. And again, go buy all these flavors and do this alone with your family. And we'll see what kind of results fun, you right? get. It's a lot of fun to do this stuff. Yeah. So if you like next this video... video we're gonna do. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're gonna Part go to the. Two. We're gonna go to the other side of the bracket, and we're gonna do strawberry, raspberry, espresso, coffee nut, crisp pretzel, crispy. Mint. He keeps saying crisp. No, it says crisp. No, it doesn't. Okay, I hope you're right. I am it's, right. Okay, it says. I am right. Okay, she's right. It says crisp pretzel, <laughs> crispy mint, crispy and caramel which is probably the new favorite around I here. I love the caramel. So we're going to see if caramel gets to be thrown by any of these other flavors. So hope you guys have enjoyed this with us. Stay tuned for part two. See y'all. Like this video? Give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see you later. All right. Bye. M&M &M Tournament. Here we go. This is me. I'm so royal. And you all want to be round. Yeah, you all want to be round. Brown a champion, a champion I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, also famous, number one desirable I do what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air